It's always been my interest to basically update the stories that I loved, you know, with Bela Lugosi or Boris Karloff, and to put them absolutely right here and now and make it more like a Scorsese version of a vampire story. Part of my conceit was that this would all take place in New York and that we'd have a real sense of place here and try to create a gothic world in an absolute everyday environment. Every day, if you consider New York every day. For reasons of budget, I wanted to find locations that had the colors that I wanted, that had the vibe of maybe a gothic corner in, a, in an everyday uh, street in New York. The subways that I chose are the, were the maroon ones, and I wanted a sense of almost a Fellini-esque carnival, so we shot at the San Gennaro Festival. It's like a dream, you know, there are lights everywhere going around. It feels very surreal, but it's completely real. And it's all about how you photograph it. Frank DeMarco was my DP. I always said, let's make it look like we art directed the fuck out of it. In fact, it was about choosing the locations. Same with the uh, tenement apartments where we filmed. These were my friend's houses, but it was carefully chosen. A sense of the decay in the city and also the architecture of old banisters and so on. I remember the, the night we shot the Empire State Building, it was lit up bright red. Every detail had to play into our color scheme. We found an old, almost felt like a castle up on, I don't know, 109th Street. I scouted all over this entire town to find things that look like, this is like it's in a Transylvania movie, you know, but it's not. It's just sort of sitting there quietly bearing witness to uh, our characters. I moved down here in the 80s, down here being the East Village, where Habit took place. It just had a vibrancy and, and to some degree a bit of danger. It just felt uh, exciting and there was an art scene and a music scene for sure and all of that I wanted to bring into the movie. And there's just a vitality. Once again, so much about Habit was about the colors, like the color of the wall, the color of his jackets, the red and the yellows. I like these primary colors, these jewel colors as I call them. Wow. First effort. I would say that now in 2015, things are genericized. It really takes away from the personality of, of the town. You could still make Cabot, uh, still find nooks and crannies, but you'd be looking a little harder and there'd be a little less personality. It's just a lot of condos and banks and CVSs. It's not the same. When I was younger, they were thrift stores and, and you know junk shops and, and things that lent uh, personality. It's not about everything was better then, um, but as far as character, you know, we're talking about the lines on a face versus sort of a airbrush. There's still plenty of scum out there, <laughs> if you look for it.